The ambassador for the Elean Fusion announced the recall of diplomatic missions to the Marrakan hegemony and the Zolan Empire today. Our fact-finding mission to Borova is complete and our findings are conclusive. We return to Jarnel to present the detailed information directly to the Torellian president and his advisors. The Zolan Empire and the states of the Marrakan hegemony act together in this invasion in direct violation of the Corian Treaty. We recall all of our diplomatic missions to those systems. Force military analysts insist they can find no evidence of Zolan involvement in the recent invasion, which seems to be a purely human affair. The Zolan Empire has never shown much interest in the core alliance system since they contain no world suitable for Zolan life. Thus far, we haven't detected any prohibited weapons technology in use by the Hegemony Invasion Force. Our main goal is to regain control of the system and bring Operation Shining Fortress to a successful conclusion. Accusing the Zolan Empire of involvement is not consistent with that goal. The Zolans are a hive-like hereditary empire on the northern border of Hegemony space. Zolon drones are outwardly similar to earth crabs, although they evolved in a desert climate without liquid water. They are less than one meter in height and their six legs can reach a span of over two meters. The Zolon species is very intelligent, but also very different from humans. They use neither written nor spoken languages, instead communicating through chemical messengers, gestures, and a form of electromagnetic radiation that may serve them as telepathy. These differences make it very difficult for Zolons and humans to communicate effectively. Part of the Hegemony 7th Fleet has broken off from the main formation in Janus. Hegemony 17th Battle Group, led by the heavy cruiser Intruder, has successfully breached the Athenar system. This invasion places our forces in a difficult situation. Until now, we have had the advantage of position in the Janus system. The Hegemony Invasion Fleet has been operating with a stretched supply line, while we have had greater reserves of fuel and ordnance, and the backing of ground bases to exploit them. The hegemony invasion of Athenar will now force us to defend two systems with our smaller fleet. Although this invasion divides the hegemony forces, it is a net tactical advantage for them. At this point in the campaign, we cannot tolerate additional civilian casualties in the core systems. Force Command has therefore decided to commit sufficient force to eliminate the hegemony battle group in Athenar before it can be reinforced by additional supporting units. 5th Fleet Battlegroup Furious and Destroyer Squadron Enigma will proceed to Athenar immediately and engage all hegemony units therein. Good luck and good hunting.
Heroic. Engaging target. Weber. Engaging target. Victorious. Engaging target. Valorous, engaging target. Typhon, engaging target. Kimura, engaging target. Lalu, engaging target. Messina, engaging target. Splash one. Valorous, engaging target. Intrepid, engaging target. Messina, engaging target. Lalu, engaging target. Messina, engaging target. Lalu, engaging target. Engaging target. Victorious. Splash one. Typhoon. Engaging target. Kimura. Engaging target. Lalu. Engaging target. Lalu. Engaging target.
Nalu. Engaging target. Huntress, splash one. Huntress, engaging target. Weber, engaging target. Valorous, splash two. Intrepid, splash one. Typhon, splash one. Typhon, engaging target. Kimura, engaging target. Heroic, engaging target. Victorious, engaging target. Hail, engaging target. side. Typhon, engaging target. Kimura, engaging target. Engaging target. Trieste. Engaging target.
Heroic. Engaging target. Victorious. Engaging target. Hail. Engaging target. Victorious. Engaging target. Hail. Engaging target. Splash 2.
Trieste. Engaging target.
Victorious. Splash 2. Heroic. Engaging target. Victorious. Engaging target. Hail. Engaging target. Victorious. Splash 3. Victorious. Engaging target. Alliance forces have completed operations in the independent systems of Silesia and Heche. The hegemony invasion has been forced to withdraw completely from an Alliance-controlled space and is now preparing to abandon their positions in the neutral territories as well. Given the circumstances, both force and civilian casualties have been remarkably light. The president of the Trillian Alliance has been addressing all members of force in the field within a few hours. In the meantime, Hold your positions and observe the temporary ceasefire. Well done, Commander!